Well, call it a sandstorm controversy in Sandbridge. Homeowners in the Virginia Beach neighborhood say for years, sand off the dunes has run into their yards, pools, and some up against their homes. It sounds simple enough. Just remove it, right? Well, according to state code, that's actually against the law. Ten on your side's Mac Gregory has more on how the city is helping homeowners push back against this sand wave. This fence probably stood about four feet tall before the sand started migrating off the beaches and the dunes here in Sandbridge and into people's backyards. People like Bob Van Divender. For 40 years, he's had this home at the ocean. Well, Mother Nature is constantly moving that sand west, mm -hmm. so it's always moving west. Now, if you look at his property, you'll see the sand wave that runs through his city required fence. This dune now seamlessly part of Van Divender's backyard and across Sandbridge snapshots of the summer scene. Safety fences covered, bulkheads buried and ramps run over by sand. I'm kneeling next to a five foot high fence and as you can see it's been buried by the sand dunes and you're probably wondering if you own the home, why don't you just push the sand back up onto the dunes? Well, that's because if they did that, the homeowners would be fined. They're not allowed to take sand on the seaward side of that without a permit. Okay. Tom Leahy, the deputy city and, manager um, for Virginia Beach, says that's a state law. And according to him, the permit alone costs more than the price to move the sand. That's why this summer the city has a plan to step in. The city council has the authority to waive the permit requirement from, uh, from the wetlands board. And they would then ha still have to get a permit from the city, but it would be something that would be much quicker and much less costly. Back on Bob's beachfront property, he waits for change, but he also takes the slow sand trap in stride. If you're going to own a place on the beach, you better got be prepared to put up with Mother Nature. Now, there is one more thing that the city says they want to do for the homeowners here in Sandbridge. They said next they're going to go to the state to open up that law just enough to allow the homeowners in Sandbridge to keep the invading dunes at bay. In Sandbridge, I'm Matt Gregory, 10 on your side.